And, and a lot of that just has to do with the fact that like men, I mean, men are typically the ones who do initiate yeah. with women. And if it's the other way around, I think women should be simps though. So I'm like, I have a very, honestly, not a lot of people know how to handle that. Oh, it's great. Like if the fucking chicks all over you, like simping, it's wonderful. Yep. It's great. I say with certain people, I'm very, I'm yeah, pretty simpy. I think I've been here. simping pretty with simpy. some people. I'm like, I was like too yeah. forward. Depends on you. Yeah. I just, I'm curious how everybody feels about that. Cause I don't know how, it, how it differs now versus like throughout time a little bit, but the idea of like women, um, like women asking for a man's phone number, like kind of initiating more of that or kind of mm. being like considered forward sometimes. Like how do you guys, mm-hmm. I guess, how do you guys I, I, feel about we that? We don't want a girl to be aggressive about it, What's but you can aggressive? still, you can still like show interest. You can still take initiative, but do so in like a kind of a feminine What's aggressive? Way. I've heard, I've just heard like, it's more so like women, like, or they, they set the guy up to be in the position to move it forward versus like the woman. Yes. The yeah, you'll glance forward. How do you in feel our about direction that? for two seconds and then that's your sign. It, I know, right. please say that, what's aggressive. Drop their eyelashes like, or drop huh? their handkerchief. What's like the aggressive? If what's they're the like aggressive? constantly messaging you. Like I've had a few girls do that, that, that where they, where like, they like will the constantly only... be constantly like replying to your I think people would like describe it as like clingy. And but yeah. if like a woman were to slide into your DMs, how does that make you No, no, that's fine. If she slides into your DMs, that's fine. But if she does it once every three days, then that's different, you know, it's annoying. But if, but if you've made the initial contact and if you've gone on a date and then she simps on you after that, it's glorious. Okay, so how yeah. about what if, if, it's, if it's them sliding into your DMs, ver- like a friendlier approach, as in like, it's like, oh, just like catching up to be friends yeah. versus like, hey, like, I think you're attractive. Let's go out. Like, how mm. does that differ? Is that too much then for a woman to say like, hey, No, because if, if she does That's that, then I think that she's off. doing that to a lot of other guys too. I think it's like, it's a like little a, too much. It's a process, you know? Mm-hmm. If she's that forward with me, then I'm like, okay, well then she's obviously forward with everyone else. But if she, if, but if it feels exclusive and if it feels like a little bit more rare, then that'll be different. Mm-hmm. Also anything like overtly genuine. sexual, like if she's like, yo, let me suck that dick. Oh, it's like, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Relax, lady. On the first well, Brian, line, but, but, you like, out. but you like women simping. What do you mean? Is that not? Is that no, no, no. no it's, it's just yeah, like just too. <laughs> it's like simping in a cute way. You know I was right? in like a yeah. weird simping more situation. Cute. Like, like maybe. Hmm? Like wishing you had a good day. Yeah, and, you know, stuff like that. And also, like when when messages. when you're just around, just the two of you at home, and she always got her hands on you. Like, mm. I know I keep bringing it back, but Affection. European girls are great like that. They're very affectionate. Yeah. Even like if you're lying at the beach, they're always just like touching your back and yeah. stroking you. Just 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 stuff like, like intimacy, this. but yeah, yeah. nice feminine yeah. tender. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 yeah, all that sort of thing. That's like what simping is for. She's a girl. making I think it a lot known of people confuse intimacy for like. This is one thing that I think is like people. They've started away from what love is, and they think like lust is love, and intimacy means sex. When in reality, a lot of it has to just do, has to do with it's affection mm. And, mm. and genuine love. And I think, and often with a, with a guy who's like you know very busy and career driven, and always around other guys and doing deals and like living a very sort of fast paced masculine lifestyle, mm. that's the perfect balance. To have that escape as well. Yeah, exactly right. That. To have that soft, like feminine touch is absolutely perfect. Yeah, if a girl brings you peace, that's that's huge. That's yeah. the totally. biggest thing. Like a girl that gives you a headache, as bit, like as you said, like if you're a guy and you're a businessman, if you have a stressful life when it comes to work, like you need like a chick that brings you peace. There is no major. feeling in the world like a like a woman's warmth absolutely. in that regard. And that's something I think can be so important as far as like balancing a household is. Um, for for those who I guess mm. do want to go with more of the traditional route, it's like the woman is able to take that load off. The man, exactly like, right. There's not. The there's also one of the greatest that things way. that you can experience is somebody making a home for you. One hundred percent. Coming home and there's and there's food on the table and like, you know, the house is clean and it's just it's a, such a wonderful feeling. Mm-hmm. And if if a woman does that, she can honestly take a guy who operates at ninety five percent to a hundred percent, and that's mm-hmm. a big difference. When you get to the upper echelons like that, when a guy's operating at a high level. To have a woman there who like can can push him to that next level, mm-hmm. it's a big yeah. thing. Men want peace and love and like a caring touch from mm-hmm. their from their from their girl and men or sorry, women want security and protection. Yeah, yeah. and also to use that social calibration that you guys are so good at, very yeah. observant. Like there was a study done where they put people into a waiting room. They thought they were doing something else, like a different study, and they brought them out of the waiting room after like half an hour, and they they said to the man and the woman like a bunch of different people what did you notice and the girls were telling them all the details of the room and mm-hmm. everything and the guys were like oh, i don't remember anything so mm-hmm. women are much more observant socially so if you guys can use that superpower to like observe exactly what your man needs and take him to that next level 
Honestly, it's a, it's a genuine superpower. Well, and that's something I think is so important, especially we were talking about feminism earlier. Is like it's become like who's what, what's the better gender? Like who who can do more? And trying to compare, it's like comparing apples and oranges. When in reality, it's like we are designed to complement each other and work together exactly rather right. than mm-hmm. compete in that, the same level. That levels. notion is being destroyed though, because feminism tells you you don't need to do anything for a man. Mm-hmm. You're independent, mm-hmm. boss babe, all of this sort of crap. Whereas yeah. really we both complement each other and we both do things for each other and there's nothing wrong with that. And there's that nothing wrong with living a life where you want to secure a mate and a partner and a long-term uh, relationship with somebody you can build a legacy and a family with. As well Absolutely. as like if, if both, I mean, and if both want to work, I think that's great. Like I, I definitely like would love to like stay at home as well, but I, d- I know I want to still be out and about and have my own things going on with that. Um, but just the, the idea of like parents being away from the kids so much, both working super stressful and then coming home and being stressed with the kids that doesn't like there's no balance to mm-hmm. that there's not really anything that's gonna like help take that load off at the end Word. of the day. there was a study done in 2019 that um found that the average like american family parents spend i think it's 36 minutes of quality time with their children that's a day when and you, the like, rest when you is just the blue head teachers yeah, right exactly. and then they go to yeah. school for six to eight hours a day mm-hmm. and learn god knows what yeah, yeah. okay so